either take what you're supposed to take or go for some Hail Mary last, like and right when you're about to land, like near yeah. or back air, and then go from there because that is just filthy. Yeah, those witch time punishes were just disgusting. Yeah. Death at 60 every single time. All right, but so we're going to winner semis right here. We yep, have our first best of five, and we're getting Akon versus K9. Uh, these two have really faced off in a uh, bit since, you know, Kakao was in Europe for an extended period of time after EVO. But we're seeing it once again. Um, these two normally meet at around this time in bracket. I'm um, curious to see uh, if, if Kanon still kind of has a huge handle in this matchup, whereas Kakao kind of learned a few things. Yeah. So let's yeah. see what he can bring to the table, man. This has been too, way too long for these, both these individuals. Ooh. Oh. Luckily, he gets the ledge cancel with the the grenade there. Also, that was just a really early stock due to a SD. Oh man, yeah, this is what makes Kaon so uh, established in this match. Is he's, he just knows when to position those bouncing fishes to catch Luigi's recovery. Like anytime um, Kaon is forced to side B, it's a free bouncing fish. Yeah, so I have to be really careful there. Open up out every single time, but at the same time. K9 is kind of out of the deficit here. We're seeing that Kong Kong at 120, and that means he is at, that means Sheik is at kill percent. So yeah. K9 definitely going to have to be careful. Really nice empty house spacing. Yeah, make it very ambiguous when he can actually go for the dash grab. Oh, that yeah, got nice crossed it up, yeah. Committed to the jump forward air too much at the ledge. Honestly, he had the right idea to just stay patient and just walk. I don't know. Yeah, kind of a raw bouncing fish. He, he's doing a lot of like nice positioning, just standing still, but he's going for these like hard reads, I guess, bouncing fish. You know, not necessarily working out. It's getting punished really hard. And look at this ledge pressure right now from Kong Kong. Yeah, he's yeah. not letting this dude leave. No, he, he really cannot get to center stage. Yep, first oh, time he got to center stage, he jump. went. Oh, hit him out of the secondary advantage. He wants him to go low. Oh, yeah, great space for Kong Kong here. Not letting K9, uh, yeah, like I said, get to center stage for free. Good catch, though. Yep, that leaves that the stock. Will be a kill. Very solid punish on the side B there. Really just knowing the way to exploit that move and not give Kaka any free recoveries. Yeah. Well, is that going to be enough? That's kind of the main issue here. Yeah. We, right now, we see K9, Nips K9 is at 93%. And, uh, oh my goodness, is this kind of, All right, dog's going to edge guard here, but. He's at a kill percent pretty much for Luigi. If he gets hit by a, a good forward smash, a couple more hits and an up smash will be in deck on the wall, and even a down smash too if he hits the backhand. So you have to be really, really careful at the end of this game one. With punish, with the down smash there, Kanon kind of overseen with the back there. He's in a position where he can't make mistakes, and that was just a great anti of uh, Kon Kon. Just really just caught up the jump. Yeah. You can't, can't you can't really can't land on top that. of Luigi like that. Yeah, Even with the hitbox, because up smash does not care. What hitbox you throw out, it's gonna be it majority of the time. I'm so. talking about man. You gotta you gotta know you gotta know what character you're playing against, man. You got this dude the Ivy League dome. You just you gotta chill, man. You don't go in a contest with him. No. So yeah, really what we see Kan's main strength in this matchup is his ability to edge guard Luigi really well, but when he's not able to actually set up those situations, Kon Kon looking like he just dominates the neutral pretty much. Something I think that will help Kon a little bit more in this matchup is really just try to hang back and just use the needles to just force Luigi in some really rough spots. He's one of those carries that jumps and he's really floaty, so his, his landing is actually vulnerable to needles every single time. Yeah, needles will definitely help you out in this matchup. It's so good to have zoning tools, but you need to be able to pick and choose your battles, especially with the character. I think combo powerhouse is just really deep. Yeah. I just like the tiny uh, micro spacing from Kong Kong with these perfect pivots. It's really throwing off a lot of Kanai spacing when he wants to go for like a dash grab. Let him get some good whiff punches there. Ooh, almost got a reverse with the down there. Yeah. Nice cyclone. Just to make Kanai respect that move, didn't get, let him uh, jump at him for free there. If he got caught, he possibly could have just gotten uh, killed. Yeah, making him have to respect the option and again, allowing him to get a set landing instead. So he doesn't get any more damage off stage. So really good play by him. Kanai has, has definitely not really gotten much so far in the set off stage. So that's really, it just goes well for Hong Kong. So that's really kind of the bread and butter for Kanai. I didn't know he was just cheap to lose the matchup. 
wind box, saving uh, Canine's life there. We traction just making him slide way too far to be able to punish that. But back air, right back there, yeah, caught him jumping. That looked like what you were talking about also. When you catch someone jumping forward with like a void air, the DI is still in the same thing. Yeah. Okay, so once again, Kankan with the stock lead. Bugs of Rage does not get the vanish there, even though he air dodge. Uh, this is best case scenario for Kankan, I feel. Oh, tipper down tilt into the up air cross up. Yeah. Still have that stock. Very nice spacing. So I like that Kankan, when he's going for the air dodge, he's going for. A double air dodge. He's doing an air dodge and then he's canceling with the first active frame back into another air dodge. That's something that you don't see too many from too often from many people. Usually they go for one air dodge and if you catch that air dodge and they're kinda screwed. They yeah. usually don't try to cancel that immediately to another one. So great presence of mind of Hong Kong can utilize that to escape to vanish uh fifty fifty mix up right there. Nice Waco jab at the ledge. K9 was ready for a neutral get up to punish and He's in a really rough spot. Yeah, get the uh, the nair out there to deal with the jab. Oh, and the 50-50, he just pops him right up. The back air at the end of it, and... Might be looking for an anti-air up smash. Up smash. Tech roll into the down tilt. Oh, not in range to actually die that down smash, but very, uh, very good. Um, that's in from K9. Oh, he wants the back throw the ledge. Kind of forcing the kill a little bit too much. Just not... Ooh, oh, got the first hit. Of Cyclone, wow, what what position from Kankan? That was actually amazing. Yeah. Uh, can I have the right idea to deal with that side B with the Bouncing Fish, but he just did in a, it looked like he did a shortened Bouncing Fish. Yeah. Instead of like the extended one to actually catch that. And that just gave him the little opening he needed. Yeah, to and Con I saw Con the moment that happened and he had missed. I saw Konkan kind of lean forward because he knew what he had to do. Beautiful mash right there for him to actually get the rising cyclone and drain all this man to take that side. Yeah. And now this is, we're sitting at a essentially a 3-0, man. The return of SS Konkan. Yeah. I mean, we've definitely seen this situation before. Um, Konkan's not the first time he's been up 2-0 against K9. And it wouldn't be the first time K9's made like a reverse 3-0 situation. So, I'm not going to count him out, but the way Kankan's playing right now, definitely playing really well. He's not letting Kankan get away with a lot of his usual stuff. Yeah, he looks like he has a lot of new answers, kind of a lot of the edge guarding that you usually see from K9. And even in general, too, the microspace that you were talking about earlier, I can't stress that enough how important those pivots have been versus versus uh, K9's pressure with yeah. his standard fair fastball, kind of dash and dash back, and it's allowed him to kind of react to these situations more thoroughly, and for that, my God. Wow, what a bait. Yeah, I like the air dodge cancel there. K9 went in to try to punch the air dodge, immediately got blown up with the up smash. is really doing a good job of just pressing his advantage. Once he has this huge percentage lead, forcing K9 to really just um, swing for things that aren't necessarily there yeah. and getting a lot of big punches. And K9 just took off his headphones, man. He just had enough of this. Yeah. Let's see what he can bring in. There it is again, that double air dodge. K9 looking like he's ready to punch the first one, but then not really able to punch the second one. Is he going to get this punish on this cyclone? Oh, or good reversal right there with that up air. It's going to save him. Okay. Oh, wow. hit him before the bouncing fish hitbox even connected. That's all this is good damage for uh, Kon Kon right now. Nice DI on the upper as well. Super deep forward air. Is he able to come back here? Nope. Yeah. Not letting him get the air dodge and the up beat. Still got that stock. 46% right now. Still trailing behind. Uh, let's see if he can actually make it happen or is Kon Kon going to just walk away with the 3 0 here? Start up, up, oh, just get hit by this jab. Yeah. Taking in place, but they're still throwing out such a quick move just to say you can't just run at me for free. All right, good deal tonight, but cycling from the ledge. Okay. Definitely <laughs> one of the few trades that she definitely going to be okay with. Good fair and the bouncing fish with K9. And K9 is starting to move here. He's trying to get this guy navigated to the other side of the oh, stage. Oh, man. Great jab. Hong Kong, man. Oh! Angled up and smash. Uh, DI right to the corner, not gonna die, but it's still, once again, a terrible well, spot, it. but yeah, that is death. Easy handshake. punish. And three on a handshake, I cannot remember. Has this even, has Hong Kong ever even done this? 
uh, it's been definitely been a long time. Very long um, time. I don't even remember, but that was ridiculous. That's definitely yeah. the return of Con Con, man. That yeah. rivalry starts anew. Yep, he's back. <laughs> saying, yeah. you know what, we haven't played in a bit. I've been, I haven't been at tournaments, but I'm still player you got respect. Yep, he's like, you remember me? He back. You remember me? What's up to Con Con? I mean, I don't know. I, I feel like he has been practicing lately, but I know on his break he wasn't really playing as much. But he definitely has a lot of new things to deal with, Sheik, in that matchup. Yeah. Look, like his movement overall is better. Whip punches are better. Has a lot more answers for fair, like, uh, out of shield.